Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to today's Words of Wisdom. Today's is from April 20th, and I quote, If you're seeking true friendships with others, don't try to become overly bonded with them. Instead, do the opposite. Take care of yourself on your own a little more. From The Laws of Hope by Master Okawa. Thank you, Master Okawa. All right, so... um. I don't know if this is a spiritual teaching or it's more of like a practical teaching of how to live a happy life uh, when you forge relationships with others. Friendship is a beautiful thing. Uh, the more friends you have, uh, it enriches you with a lot of life experiences and um, that connection that we can have with other people in itself is joy. I guess we were taking that for granted and we learned how wonderful that is through the COVID lockdowns. So meeting with friends is a great thing. And however, friendship is a source of happiness, but it can also be the seeds for unhappiness, right? Uh, I'm sure we all uh, went through that and maybe sometimes we go through a broken friendship, uh, a broken fr friendship and that hurts our souls. Uh, it provides us, many, provides us with many life lessons, but uh, is there a way so that we can uh, create a good relationship with friends? There is, and Master is teaching us one of the vital uh, I think one of the foundational uh, tips on how to forge a good relationship, not just friends, by the way, this sentence applies to, I believe, any kind of relationship. In a nutshell, a good relationship between friends can be made between independent people. Uh, which sounds like it goes against companionship, right? If you think about friendship, companionship, brotherhood, sisterhood, you imagine that you're always there for them. Uh, and there's always your friends. Oh, I think there was like a meme saying that um, the people who are there in your times of need are your true friends. Some, something like that. Um, so that's based on dependence, right? Uh, when you need to depend on someone, the people who are there are your friends, is what they were saying, that meme was saying. But yeah, biologically, that makes sense. Uh, as first, like instinctively, that, that might be what a good friendship is. However, the reality is different. Let's say that you have someone who's asking you for money all the time. Usually those people will never pay you back, right? I think we can all agree to what I'm saying here. I think we all have one of those friends who's always in the red and who's always asking for money and who's always asking for favors. And um, have you been able to have a good relationship with that kind of person? Probably not. If you have, maybe you are a very uh, deeply religious person that is kind of seeking self-sacrifice too much and you're allowing them to drown your life. Maybe, maybe. So um, what's important to know is a healthy relationship where you can really learn from each other and in the truest meaning help each other, support each other, cooperate with each other, and have a really good time, a good long-lasting relationship, it's between two people who are fairly independent, not overly dependent. And, oh my goodness, this is like, when I found out this truth, uh, it helped me to change myself. Um, I guess, you know, I grew up with uh, three, having three older sisters. Uh, my parents were really kind. They literally provided everything for me. I had no suffering growing up So as a young teen. So I was spoiled. And being spoiled is bad because one, it makes you soft. And two, it makes you very dependent on others. Uh, you ask for like the small, smallest things. Uh, you expect someone else to do the smallest things, which I carried over into my marriage life. And in the first couple of years in my marriage with my beautiful wife, I unintentionally kind of like mm, made her go through unnecessary suffering because um, unintentionally I was overly dependent on her. And however, when I came back to these teachings, I was like, okay, the reason why the relationship is going bad is because I'm being dependent. I'm being too dependent. So 
let me be more independent. Let me start thinking what I can do for her instead of expecting something from her. And you see, why is the spirit of independence important? It's because unless you're an independent person, you could not give love to others, which is the first and most important teachings of epi-science, giving love instead of taking love. So um, let's, let us aim to be an independent man and woman. Uh, in the long run, that will allow you to attain true, lasting, good friendships. I, I promise you this. I've lived it, and many Happy Science members have lived it too. Uh, let me end today's video by quoting it again. If you're seeking true friendships with others, don't try to become overly bonded with them. Instead, do the opposite. Take care of yourself on your own a little more. From the Laws of Hope by Master Okawa. Thank you, Master. And thank you everyone for watching. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.